Hello guys, I should game plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you a video, an awesome video. So this time with Ryzen 5 2400 g versus the Ryzen 5 2600. So, chan 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 so Ryzen 5 2400G versus the Ryzen 5 2600. So the Ryzen 5 2400G is an APU. APU stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. So we have a CPU plus GPU in one package. On this test, we will use the CPU power only versus the CPU only, the Ryzen 5 2600, of course. So now a brief explanation before going to the video. The Ryzen 5 2400G is like a mix of the first generation with the second generation. So it doesn't use the Zen Plus cores presented on the second generation CPUs, but it has the latency improvements on the second generation. So using the first generation cores, but also having improvement on latencies. So we will test some games, some with the benchmark, the inbuilt benchmark tool, like always, and some on real gameplays. The resolutions tested are 720p, 1080p and 1440p. So 720p to eliminate the GPU bottleneck and try to simulate a higher end GPU per se to see how much, um, how much FPS can the CPU push. Uh, 1440p it is GPU bottleneck of course but at least you can see the results. Well they are there so if you have um, a GPU close to the RX 480, you can see the results there. And the 1080p is the mid, the mid case, as you already know. That's it guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video because that helps the channel a lot and that helps me, that helps me, Fabio. <laughs> Thanks for watching, don't forget, like, subscribe and share the video and see you in the resume. Hope you enjoy it. The first test is with CSGO Benchmark 2. As you can see on the charts, the Ryzen 5 2600 has from 10 to 20 FPS more in every resolution, in terms of average FPS of course, being it at 3.8 or at 5 or at 5.05 GHz. In terms of 1% lows, there are variations, since the smoke part on this bench makes the FPS drop by a lot. Still, the results are pretty similar, with the Ryzen 5 2600 having more FPS in most cases. The second test was done using the Rainbow Six Siege benchmark tool. This is one of the games where we can see a very decent advantage to the Ryzen 5 2600. Worth the upgrade? Of course not, since the Ryzen 5 2400G can usually hit 4GHz as well. Still, even at the same frequency the Ryzen 5 2600 pulls a bit more average FPS and most importantly it pushes way more FPS on the 1% lows.
Now on PUBG, using once again the replay feature. PUBG is not known for being the most optimized game available. And the, as you can see on the charts, PUBG heavily relies on the cache size and frequency over smaller latencies. The minimum FPS numbers on the Ryzen 5 2600 are a lot higher, even at the same clock speeds. And putting the Ryzen 5 2600 to 4.05 GHz raised even more the minimum FPS across all resolutions tested. These a lot higher FPS values on the 1% lows will make the game feel a lot, a lot guys, a lot smoother than it would be on the Ryzen 5 2400G. Far Cry 5 is another funny game. We can see that the game loves cache size. I am telling this because the Ryzen 5 2400G has a bit smaller latencies, but even at the same clock speeds, the Ryzen 5 2600 pushes around 10 more FPS, 10 more minimum FPS at 720p and at 1080p. The difference is not big when moving to 4.05 GHz, for example, but still, it is there. Let's see how the next game goes. The first game tested with real gameplay was League of Legends. As we've seen before on the Ryzen 5 2400G vs Ryzen 5 1600 video passing now on the top right corner of the screen, Ryzen 5 2400G was already faster than Ryzen 5 1600 at the same clock speeds. Just for you to know guys, we have bigger FPS numbers at 1080p because we moved for a little forward in the lane and the FPS numbers changed a bit. Still, both CPUs were tested in the same way, and, as can be seen, the Ryzen 5 2400G isn't able to push more than 150 FPS on average. Downward strike. The last game of today's video is Dota 2, with 3 minutes on lane. On Dota 2, one particular thing that jumped to my sight was that the minimum FPS seemed to be higher with higher clock speeds. That is usual, right? Not really. Average FPS is higher on the Ryzen 5 2600, and at the same clock speeds the minimum FPS numbers are pretty similar on both CPUs. But, but, there's always a but, when you bump the clock speeds a bit, you can see that not only average FPS numbers increase, but also the 1% lows increase as well. And well, as for the but, I love big butts. <laughs> Let's now go to the conclusion, guys. So guys, concluding, is it worth going from the Ryzen 5 2400G to the Ryzen 5 2600? So that is a nice question because if you do, or if all you do is gaming, okay, you can stay with the Ryzen 5 2400G, it is cheaper and you can buy it to first have an integrated GPU and later when you have the money you can buy the discrete GPU and still have a great performance with it. But if all you look is pure performance, go for the Ryzen 5 2600 because it is obviously the winner and has more cores and threads, so 4 cores, 8 threads against the 6 cores, 12 threads, which makes a lot of, drif uh, which makes a lot of difference um, on rendering, for example. If, you, if your workloads are, for, exa uh, for example, decompression or compression with the 7-zip, uh, Blender, if you use the, um, the Premiere, Premiere, <laughs> I sound like a French mother So Premiere and or Premiere, I don't give a fuck, but Premiere or other software like Sony Vegas for example, the Ryzen 5 2600 is the way to go. 
If you are on a budget, you already know because you have this for $150 and have an integrated GPU, while this costs you around $180, so $30 more, which can buy a CPU cooler for this little guy, and that will make the difference. That's all for today, guys. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget, share the video because that helps a lot. Thanks one more time, and see you in the next one.